Hello, in this video we are asked to determine the magnitude and point of application of the equivalent point load of the distributed force shown below. Uh, so in this particular force we've got what's called a discontinuous function. Um, so it's a straight line going from 0 out to 5 uh, and then it's a different straight line which so is a horizontal line going beyond that. So we're actually going to need two force functions uh, in, order to, <clears throat> in order to really solve this problem. Uh, so I'm going to break it down. Uh, I'm going to do force 1, so F1 of X is going to be this section over here. That's kind of the dividing line. And F2 of X is going to be this force function over here. Uh, and so 1 is going to be from 0 to 5, and then F2 of X is from 5 out to 10. All right, so if I look at the equations of these two lines, um, F1 of X um, is simply going to be a line. Uh, the rise is 10, the run is 5, so it's just going to be a line with a slope of 2, so 2X. Two and then F2 of X here uh, is a horizontal line at 10. Um, so there's no x at all, this is just equal to 10. Alright, so I've got the force function uh, for each of those two sections there. So now I can move on and solve for my, the magnitude of my equivalent point load. So the magnitude of my equivalent point load is going to be the integral under this. And to get the overall integral, uh, we're simply going to add up uh, the integral of F1 from 0 to 5 and F2 from 5 out to 10. So that's the integral from 0 to 5 of my force 1 function. Um, so that's going to be 2x. And we're integrating that with respect to x plus the integral from 5 to 10 of 10 dx. Alright, so we can easily, pretty easily take the integral of these two functions. Uh, FEQ is going to be equal to, uh, evaluated from 0 to 5, uh, 2x, that the integral of that is going to just going to be x squared, um, plus evaluated from 5 to 10, of 10, that's going to turn into 10x. Uh, and so <clears throat> now I've got some discrete, I've evaluated my discrete integral. Uh, I need to go ahead and plug in the numbers. So <clears throat> FEQ is going to be equal to uh, 5 squared minus 0, 0 squared, uh, and then plus. It's going to be 10 times 10 uh, minus 10 times 5. All right, so this is going to give me 25 over here. 10 times 10 is 100 minus uh, 5 times 10 is 50. So plus another 50 over here. Uh, my FEQ or the magnitude of my equivalent point load uh, is going to be equal to 75. Uh, and looking back at my original scenario, this is given in kilonewtons, so this is going to be 75 kilonewtons here. Alright, so next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and find the location of the equivalent point load, or, or uh, equivalent point load, or my XEQ value. Uh, so for that, we're going to need something similar to what we had up here. So we're going to need those two integrals. So x eq is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 5 uh, of my force function times x. So 2x times x integrating with respect to um, <clears throat> integrating with respect to x 
plus the integral from 5 to 10 of 10 times x dx. And so that whole thing, those two integrals are divided by uh, the magnitude of the equivalent point load, so f eq. All right, so let's go ahead and work on these integrals. So I've got the integral from 0 to 5 of 2x squared plus the integral from 5 to 10 of 10x. That'll go further, and I'm evaluating this um, from 0 to 5. Uh, this is going to be 2 thirds x cubed plus evaluated from 5 to 10 of uh, 5x squared. All right, so 0 to 5, I'm going to have 2 thirds times 5 cubed minus 2 thirds times 0 cubed plus going from uh, 5 to 10 on this 5x squared. Uh, I'm going to have uh, 5 times 10 squared minus 5 times 5 squared. Alright, so if I plug in all those numbers, I should end up with a value. Um, <clears throat> this will give me uh, 8... 30, or uh, 83.33, uh, and this over here will give me a value of uh, 375. And so if I take the sum of these two numbers, I divide by my FEQ of 75 kilonewtons, I find XEQ, it's the position of my equivalent point load, uh, of 6.11 meters. All right, I've got XEQ, I've got FEQ. Let's go back to my original diagram here. So if I draw a mirror image, or sorry, a replica of my original beam, it's gonna be 10 meters long. Uh, my FEQ, uh, again, that value <clears throat> was 75 kilonewtons. So I've got a force 75 kilonewtons, uh, and that's statically, or sorry, and the location of this is uh, 6.11 meters out, and our x direction out this way for both of these. And so this one force right here is going to be statically equivalent to our original distributed load that's shown over here. So with, it, with this, we've got our solution. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.